Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Ian. And we're going to minister to 10 people. If you'd also like to receive word in this format, write your name in the comments, and we would love to minister to you. So the first person I want to minister to is Stephen Ali. Stephen, what the Lord is showing to me is how he has written uh, commitments and promises with a pencil and he's laid it before you and then you turned around and he said to the Lord yes Lord I commit I surrender my life to you and then I saw a version where the Lord wiped everything down but with a pen and then once he wrote it down with a pen the Lord has put a stamp or a seal there with his blood uh, he's written it on your heart you he said to the Lord yes and now there's a covenant and I felt what the Lord is, is speaking to you is because you said, yes, the Lord, I'm going to follow you and I'm going to be obedient to the, the commitments we make with each other. I see how you go in a new level of supernatural provision, of favor, uh, of opportunities that the Lord is going to open up for you and also his protection around your life. God bless you, Stephen. Okay, Marianne, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Uh, I saw a picture of you and then I heard the Lord says the door is open and I just see how you walk from inside your house outside outdoors and I just see how the Lord invites you to be more outdoors and it feels like there's a special connection between you and the Lord when you're outdoors it doesn't feel like you're confined it feels you're free even when the sun is shining just go outside with a heart of appreciation for what the Lord has created but also created for you to enjoy and then you think about the things that the Lord has placed there it's not to punish you, but it's for, your, for you to enjoy it, to see His goodness, to, to feel that He is good. And the more you're going to do that, you're going to see your heart's going to change and you're, going to be, you're just going to be connected with the Lord. We can have a relationship with the Lord. We'll just spend some time with the Lord and you're really going to appreciate it. And God says His heart is open for you. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, God bless you, Marianne. David, the Lord shows me a root that grows into a small crack of a water pipe uh, and that root grows and it drinks that water uh, and that root is a tree could be a tree of bitterness it could be a relationship uh, in your life maybe with someone um, that is speaking negative words about uh, your relationship or about the situation uh, and I just felt that the Lord says it's time to clean that pipe to remove that tree uh, to allow the Lord to come and um, close that pipe so that the hole is not an access point where the roots can grow in and drink the water and the supply that God has for your life. Okay? So that's, that's what the Lord showed me with one thing that you can just deal with in your life. Now, the other thing is what I saw. I saw angels that the Lord has given to you. Now, ever since Justin Paul Abram did this video about angels, he did two videos about angels in this last month or two. I have been starting to see angels more regularly because mm. I realized I needed to to just focus a little bit more on the, on the angelic. I'm always focused what is God saying in every situation, but I don't always um, ask the Lord, where's the angels, what are they doing? But I was praying for you and then the Lord showed me angels around you and how these angels have accepted the mandate that God has for your life and you have accepted that mandate and how you and that angels work together and how the Lord is determining supernatural provision for your life. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Ari. Ari, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I see a picture of a dry, it's very dry, nothing grows there on the soil um, and it feels like you are unfruitful. And I see, no, you're not. The ground is very, very fruitful. I see when the rain comes, even in the first drops of rain, life returns. And I see you are fruitful. The life is fruitful. But I see the rain and the blessings of God needs to come and shower upon you. And I see how God says it is on its way. Just pray for it. Declare it. I see there's a lot of resistance, but the, the resistance are also building your character tremendously. So do not take this the season lightly even though it's a hard season it's a very good season for you where when the life comes you're going to be so ready you're going to be so revived within your soul that what you do will have double the effect it will have double the success and i just see how the lord says just whatever you're going through now is temporary don't focus and think it's permanent it's going to be forever i just see work through as god's blessings on his way be blessed okay Ari, i'll add something 
uh, I saw a car park in front of the garage and uh, the house or the garage is a picture of the house of God with the covering of God is. The car is a picture of the anointing and the ministry that God has for your life. But the car didn't drive uh, and go into the garage. It just parked in front of the garage. And now you're opening up the garage door and the car is going in. And I felt that the Lord says your ministry, your gifting that God has given to you is going to be under the covering of the house, but it's also going to be made available to the anointing that's on the house as you move your ministry underneath that roof of the garage which is the house of God so I, I just see that the change is happening so sometimes when we are in a transition time in our lives like Jan say it's not a good time to evaluate how things going it's better to just be obedient to the Lord and just keep going in faith until he completed that part of what he wants you to do and so I, I think you're in a transition uh, and the Lord loves you very much you're doing very well God bless you Ori uh, so, uh, if it's Shuku, uh, the Lord showed me your your blueprint, and I felt motivational speaker and healing flowing out of your life. It's two things that are very prominent uh, on your blueprint, and the Lord is going to more and more open up opportunities for you where you can speak to people, where you can motivate them, not only one on one, but also in a public setting, and uh, the Lord is going to. Uh, give you an anointing to be a very good public speaker. God bless you, Efeshuku. Okay, the next word is for Johanna. Johanna, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of keys. The Lord says, I've given you keys. I've given you a lot of keys over the years, but you're collecting the keys. So you, you show all of the keys that you have, which is a good thing, but the keys are there to be used. And I see how the Lord encourages you to use the keys that He's giving you. Um, revelation that is giving you illumination uh, I see even anointing you've got the keys for all of that but you need to use it it's not a key to have and have the knowledge of it it's something you need to put to practice it's something that you need to use a lot of the prayers that you have prayed the Lord has already answered them but you need to put it in practice you need to put it in use and then I just see how you start to use all of the keys and things just start to work and this is a big breakthrough for you but actual fact, it is long said that God has given you what you need. You just need to use it. Be blessed. Hey, Yona, God loves you very much. Uh, so, John MacDonald. The Lord chose me uh, a grapevine. And I know in John 15, He is the vine and we are the branches. But then I see how the Lord takes a... What's this in English? Okay. It's, it's like a little piece of the branch that you cut off and then you plant it again. I can't remember what they call it in, in English. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. Uh, so uh, I saw how the Lord take a piece, and it's you, it's you, and how the Lord plants you in a new place, and how you start to uh, put roots in the ground and you grow. And the Lord gives you a structure, just like a grape has a structure to grow on, in the same way that you start to grow on the structure and you bear a lot of fruit. And, and the Lord says, the first place where you were, was great. That's where you learned. That's where you were mentored. That's where you grew and uh, you you got your your equipping and your education. But the Lord is planting you in a place where you're going to grow and you're going to flourish. And so it's not nice to be transitioned from a place where there's overflow to a place where you're starting something new. But I see how you put the roots in and how you grow and how you then. Uh, uh, bear fruit and flourish again in the new place that God is giving to you and he's giving you the structure the water the the good soil what that you need so that you can flourish God bless you okay the next word is for Yolandi Yolandi the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of God's provision for you God says I'm providing for you I just see how two streams come together into your life where you have multiple provision uh, but the Lord says it's not always as you expect it to be. It's not always what you thought it's going to be. But it will always be there for what you need. And I just see how the Lord says, um, I see two hands that can pull two things out of your pockets where there's provision. So I really see, just trust the Lord. Because when you trust the Lord, you'll get to know what you need to do with what you have. And what you have, when you use it, it will increase. So don't be afraid for not having enough. God will provide for you. Be blessed. 
Hello. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless you, uh, Yolandi. Uh, Yolandi, I know our paths are going to cross. We're just waiting to see how it's going to happen. <laughs> uh, next is, uh, where is for Nadine? Uh, Nadine, uh, I, I saw a scale uh, and how the Lord were balancing the scale. You know, when you sometimes, uh, in the old days, when they were weighing something, they would put whatever they want to weigh on the one side and they would add like little weights until they get the scale to balance out and then they know this is how much it weighs. And the Lord is saying to you that He is adding anointing, He's adding favor, opportunities in your life to balance the scale where it comes to your needs and to the provision that you need in your life the anointing, the vision that you need, people to help you. I just see how the Lord balances his scale and he adds weight. And that weight is his favor, is the opportunities he gives you, the equipping he gives to you, uh, the blessing that he gives to you. And I felt that the Lord says, do not fear. The Lord is going to meet in, uh, meet each one uh, of your needs. And although you have now needs and you feel it's heavier, you know, sometimes what we say, okay, uh, I need to reduce my amount of needs. Um, uh, I don't need this anymore. But sometimes the thing that you need is actually on your blueprint. So you can't actually say, I don't need it because God wants you to need it because He wants you to fulfill your blueprint. And so I felt that the Lord says, don't necessarily say, I have to cut everything out. You have to say, the Lord will provide. I'm going to trust in Him. I'm going to be a beaten team. And the Lord says, I will provide. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Ellen. Ellen, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a sailboat that's on the ocean. And you don't have any thing that you can propel yourself forward so you rely on the wind and i just see how the lord says i am the wind i'm the spirit that's going to drive you where you need to be uh, but i also see resistance from your side where sometimes you're afraid of what's going to happen and i just see how the lord says trust me because when you trust the lord you will get to where you need to be you'll be able to move where you need to move you're not going to be confined and frustrated where you're currently at i just see how the lord says I will move you, but you need to trust me. You need to rely on me. Um, there's many times in your life that you can testify of God's goodness where you thought this is not going to work and God came through for you. God says, I will always come through for you. Be blessed. Yeah, Elin, uh, the Lord will be faithful to you. Family, it was a big pleasure for me and Ian to minister to each one of you. Uh, I want to ask you, please um, write us a comment. Give us a little bit of feedback. Just so that I at least know you did receive the word. Um, you know, sometimes we'll post to 10 and I'll get four people that make a comment. So the other six, I'm not always sure that they receive the word or they just listen and they don't want to post or give feedback. So even if you just put like a little thumbs up or something that I know you, you saw it, it will really bless me. Uh, family, we love and appreciate each one of you. God bless. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.